What's going on people? The topic today I've got to talk to you about, this is not a fake thing, it's not a joke, it's not a fake thing, I don't want to talk to you about jokes you guys, I want to talk to you about real issues, real things that's been happening, I'm talking to you about real history, so if you don't know about this, stay seated, get your pen and paper, sit down and record this information, or you need to go back and search it, if you know it, well then, smarter than you, you have 100% of my support, and I know that you actually, you're doing your homework, right? So now, I'm talking, I've got to talk about history. History, uh, the Roman Empire, the Roman Empire or the Romans in Britain. So before, but in the ancient time, uh, in the Roman era, there was a Roman Empire, there was a Roman people ruled Britain for 300 years, right? 300 years. Or more than that. So, if you don't know this, so do you know that within the 300 years, the Roman Empire or the Roman rules in Britain, there was an African emperor, African Roman emperor. He was an African of a Rome, uh, of, of, of a Libyan descent. It's not a Libyan of an African descent. So, uh, his name is Septimus Severus. Septimus means sevens in Latin, and Severus is his name. So Septimus Severus was an African uh, emperor, a Roman, a Roman African emperor. He ruled uh, also. He was one of the one of the uh, eponymous people that that that, that been and ruled Britain as well. He came to Britain at that time in the year around one hundred and ninety eight, right? One hundred ninety eight. You should remember that. Then from that on, uh, basically, he went all the way to Scotland. And then, but it was too cold for him at the time, so he withdrew his soldiers just right by uh, Hadrian's Wall. So he stationed his soldier there, and this is where. And then he died uh, later on. He died in in York, modern day York or Yorkshire. This is when he died. So you need to understand this, guys. So one of uh, one of the things that people don't know about again is uh, is. A lot of a lot of question people want want know about and his, historically, and in the ancient time, people history get gets distorted, right? People will distort the history for the sake of what development, for the sake of advancing a different agenda, and people, right? Listen to this, listen to these guys, because Septimus Severus. So if you're at school, so don't you know what I mean? If you're at school. You probably never heard of this. You probably never heard of, of Septimus Severus, yeah. Uh, you probably never heard of the Roman uh, Empire in Britain. I think you, you you might you probably heard of the Roman Empire, but you never heard of an African emperor, Roman emperor called Se uh, Septimus Severus, and he was born in the province of Africa or Africa, as what people don't know about. So he was born in that time, and uh, he was born in the modern day Libya. Yeah, or Lebos. So, uh, and then after that, he he been, he was brought up in Libya, and then after that, he joined the army. And then uh, I think how how did he how did he become an emperor? They're saying that he uh, he went to war with another uh, Roman general, and then he won the war. Then he became emperor of the Roman Empire, right? And basically, he had two sons. Uh, Septimus Severus. He had two sons. Uh, one of them, Caracalla and Geta. So the same that Caracalla and Geta, they were meant to be both of them uh, crowned as an emperor of the Roman Empire after Septimus Severus death. But at, at the time, what you have to understand that guys. But what what happened is uh, what happened is Caracalla was the notorious warlike person, and then he he didn't like his brother, so he killed his brother. So I said he sent a sent a soldier. And stabbed him, and I killed his brother, and he died on his mother's arm. That's Geta died in, uh, his, on his mother uh, mother's arm. So you should understand this, guys. Most of, most of the history get distorted. So remember, Septimus Severus himself. Who also, he had ex-wife before his, before uh, before uh, his wife Julia Domina or Domina Julia Domina. That was uh, his second wife, but his first wife, there was never really a mention about her that much because people they tried to conceal, would try to, uh, you know what I mean, 
hide the history and hid the history behind them. Uh, presumably, she could be a, she could be of a black origin. People don't know this. She could be a black uh, a black queen, but people not I don't know that there was never really a mention about her. But it, but they're saying that was uh, her name was Patria or Patria Pat, Patria Marciana, right? So, but then he married his second wife, which is uh, she got him uh, Caracalla and. Getter, but they're saying again. Remember, Caracalla, his name, his real name is not Caracalla. His real name, he's got a different name. Uh, it must, I must have had uh, Septimus Severus in it, and also uh, same as Getter. So, but people never really uh, tell you this because history will change and get distorted. So I've got to tell you this, guys. So people, uh, through uh, in the ancient time. In the ancient time, or now, even like you know, when you touch into history, you will never really touch into these kind of things. Remember how many ancestries or background or DNA uh, they could be found, or they found in Britain nowadays. So, so how much diverse Britain was, or how much diverse was it on the Roman time? So they're saying that because uh, Saturnus Severus himself, when he stationed his soldiers. At the time in the Hadrian's Wall, they're saying that there's uh, probably, uh, probably about sixty or seventy percent, or uh, some of the soldiers, they were all black or people of a brown colour, brown, uh, brown skin. Do you know what I mean? So, so that's how it is. But remember, uh, they're saying uh, also what they mentioned in history. They're saying that Septimus Severus uh, or Septimus Severus also uh, he had a, a Italian mother and African dad. So, uh, so basically the. the uh, that uh, the dad was dark brown, and that's why I uh, presume that would make him a, a mixed race person, or would make him somebody that of a lighter skin. That's why they're saying that he's a black guy from Africa. So you should understand this, guys. Uh, the information where you know get distorted in history, you may not know of it, uh, and unless you uh, you got a study, yeah, you got to think out of the box, guys. So nowadays, uh, why I'm saying this, guys, because all human being in the planet. We are one race, yeah. We are one race, but at the same time, because as as uh, you know, when people move uh, move places, go from uh, different climate to another, do you know what I mean. The darker complexion you are, you're probably more adapted to to live in a in a hot climate, and the lighter the lighter hues you are, so you're destined to to live in a more cooler or or colder a colder climate. So what I, what I've got to say to you guys about the whole thing. I would just, I don't want to really distort the history or anything like that. I just want to tell you that real story, this is what information I, I looked it up. I looked it up in books. I looked it up on uh, and museums in London, other places, and I knew this facts, yeah? So if you go to the museum in London, you will see uh, Septimus Severus, and they'll tell you about the whole history. But most most of these information, you will not know of, know of unless you go and search for it. But... If you go to school, you know this is a fake thing. I'm not about I'm, I'm not about these fake stuff, man. You know what I mean? I'm not about these for Susie for Sazi stuff. You know what I'm saying? So if you're talking about a riffraff, this is not a place for you. This is a place where to learn about history, man. Learn about your history. Learn about exactly the history of Britain before. Uh, you know what I mean? In the Roman Empire and and things like that. So guys, yeah, uh, you have to understand that there was an African emperor uh, in the Roman Empire in Britain was around uh, well, 198 AD or probably before that so this is exactly what you need to know he had two sons so so you need to trace right now if you're tracing I think I'm sure his DNA or his family's DNA were traceable so also there's one thing that I didn't mention about guys his uh, wife uh, was born in modern day Syria his wife was Julia Julia Domino or Domina. So that basically she was born in modern day uh, Syria. What she had, she she begot him, the two sons, Caracalla and the other one. Caracalla was a notorious guy, he killed his uh, his brother and ruled. But the same later on, Caracalla himself also got killed in modern day Turkey. So, you know, it's go and search it. The information is prior for you. Don't be idiots, don't be stupid, yeah? Learn the information that you can see and you can see it for yourself and learn. Alright, so guys, listen, with that being said, peace and love, brothers.